So the second video for activity 4.5 cams in motion is going to take us through making our next cam, which is the pair cam. Again, quarter inch hole and a quarter inch extrusion, and then dimensions between 1.5 and 3 for our nominal dimensions. We're going to open up a new part, start a sketch, and I'm going to start with a circle. And then under line, I'm going to use the interpolation line and click on the end point, the top, and the side, and click the check mark. Then I use my tangent constraint between the circle and the line, the circle and the line. And I want to make sure I do that first. I'm going to then dimension the height to be one inch, and the diameter of my circle to be one inch. Once I've done that, I can use the horizontal constraint between the end point and the center, the end point and the center, and finally the vertical constraint between the top point and the center. And that will let us have everything fully constrained. Now you need to make sure that you do it in that order because if you don't, I've seen it happen where this uh, line will get messed up if that happens. Sometimes it's as simple as hitting F8 and taking your horizontal constraint and deleting it, and then just going back in and putting your horizontal constraint back in there. So we also need to have our rectangle in the center, quarter inch. Like again, use the tab key to tab in between 0 0.25, 0 0.25. Two point center rectangle is going to get it done a lot quicker for us. Finish our sketch, extrude both parts, so you have to click twice, 0.25 is a quarter inch, and make it symmetric. When we've done that, we can show our planes, right click and check the visibility, and the same for the Z axis, this is the axis we're going to be rotating around. And if I wanted to, I could go back in and change the size to, you know, make it a little bit bigger. We'll make it 1.5. And there you go. There is your pair. So we're going to go to File, Save, and type in our pair cam.